How's it going, everyone? We are going here now live. We've got no uh, viewers, but that's okay. Hopefully, you'll be here soon. Um, sure. So, we'll just maybe give everybody a couple of minutes, sure. but we'll start by doing oh, some introductions. Hello. hello. Oh, there's more people. How are we doing? How are we all? Hi everyone, um, we'll start by introducing ourselves, I'll go first, I'm Jasmine. you might have joined our live a couple of weeks ago when we teamed up with Sweet Cherry Publishing and um, Gemma for, a, for our first live event, um, so I'm back and... How's it going, I'm Millen, so I'm part of um, the digital team here for Box and Door and yeah, I do all the design work and you see those lovely, lovely photos you see on the website, that's uh, the guy over here. So we're here today because um, we are, this is our book club live, um, as you can tell we are surrounded by books so we thought now is a great time to bring some of that to you so we're going to be reviewing books, um, it's every fortnight, we'll be here every Thursday at the beginning of the month and then at the end of the month and this is us picking, we're starting off by picking our favourites but we, we really want you to um, tell us what do you want us to review, what do you want to see, um, and to get involved. Yeah, we'd love to see you comment below um, what book you'd like us to review um, and what you want us to get involved with. Because as Justin said, there is a chance for you guys to win. So make sure you're tuning in and make sure you keep an eye out for our books because they, you could be taking her one home with you just from watching this on Instagram Live. So cool. Justin, do you want to go first or should I go first? Uh, you go first. Sure. <laughs> no pressure. No, no pressure at all. So it's quite a few of you joined in now. We'll be here for about the next sort of 15 minutes or so. Um, so keep any of those comments coming. Uh, but we'll get started with the first set of books. So, 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 got? so. Lockdown. I had piled on the way. I think a lot of people... Um, find lockdown quite tough and I got into quite good shape um, during lockdown. No, sorry, before lockdown. Lockdown then uh, came through and all those, the, all that hard work went in about three months. So for me, I was like, I need something. I needed some sort of regime, um, some sort of like cookbooks or something to sort my eating out because I was eating basically everything in sight. You like to call it a seafood because I literally, a seafood diet, I literally saw food and I ate it. So for me, I was like, right, let me sort myself out and sort out what books I need, some sort of guidance. Um, and obviously the absolutely wonderful Joe Weeks, absolute legend that he is, um, who was doing his, uh, was it morning? Um, yeah, it was like a morning, it was when the schools were closed and it was like a morning fit, like workout routine and it was kind of like for all the families, so it was mm. quite good. So obviously he's known for his um, fantastic work for the schools. But for me, I was like, I need something, I need some, I need good food. I need good food, which is healthy for me, because I can't, I, need, I can't, I need to stop eating rubbish. Because um, the working outside of things, I'm fine with, it's just the eating, um, which I think a lot of people struggle with. So, we have got the three 15 minute meal meals we've got here. The three different, what are you thinking? All 15 minute meals, Millen, what's, what's wrong with them? What's all different about them? I've got you. So, the shape plan. The shape plans for cutting and shredding. So not the thing is necessarily for shredding, but this is like sort of the guidance for getting you into shape and getting to your desirable um, weight, really. This is what I definitely use. But a you lot. don't have to be like a big gym no, goer because no, 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 like no. shredding kind of scares me a little bit. But I could, I would definitely. Yeah, from what for you sure, said, for I sure. could read that. I'm like that. from any gym goer, um, or anyone knows their their bit about fitness. Abs and weight loss really takes place in your cardio and uh, in the kitchen. You can go to gym all you like, and if you eat rubbish, all that hard work will go to no nothing, really. And it's about having time though as well, isn't it? So that's oh, yeah, why these sure. are really good. And I think, especially for those with the, our followers with kids, uh, with kids and with uh, just your partners and whatnot, I think it's a really nice way to sort of venture out to deal uh, to dishes that you wouldn't really go for. Because I know for like coming out of uni, because I'm 25, so I haven't got, <laughs> I haven't got any kids. Um, so for me, I was, I was uh, making sure that I'm eating more interesting stuff. And uh, especially um, 
going from yeah, like I said, uni, it was basically pasta. <laughs> it was pasta and uh, instant noodles. They weren't really. Uh, yeah, and, and beans, beans on toast was a, a classic. <laughs> so yeah. So going what into meals this, can we expect in these books? So then? just to go into a bit of detail with the books, I have to come up to the camera. Apologies, I'm coming so close. So you can see here, every single um, dish um, is <laughs> covered with a, a lovely image of it. So at least you have a clear idea of what it should look, like. What it should <laughs> look like. Mine didn't look like this. Mine looked absolutely... It, it looked like it got run over. <laughs> it weren't great. But these, these dishes are brilliant for um, new cooks, experienced cooks and uh, the pros out there. So this is the shape plan. So obviously this will be catered towards a lower carb diet, uh, more salad based, um, and just sort of getting you on track to sort of losing weight, which for me was a big thing. Um, but the thing that's better about, and what you were just saying about the images there is really good because like you can get a lot of recipes online and we, and we know that there can be, but people can just sort of, um, Sometimes it can be hard to, you might find a recipe, but you can't necessarily always locate the image or you don't know how it should look or people can post sort of different images that might make it look better than what it's supposed to. Whereas this is, this is almost a bit rough and ready and, and it's still, you know what you're aiming towards, for I suppose. Sure, for sure. And it's really clear steps as well. And I think one thing that's really important uh, for everyone really is that it, what it includes here, I have to come to the camera, apologies, I'm coming up this close, sorry. Um, is that it's good to freeze, it's carb rich. So good to freeze things are a massive thing for me because um, I love bulk making all my food. And I'll freeze it or I'll put it in the fridge so I can have my meals ready for me when it comes down to me working or me going to the gym or coming back from the gym. I like having food ready for me. I, I, I have got the time to cook, but I'd rather not. I don't but with this then, you've got, you've got there quite quick. And what's the difference between the three books then? Because we've got quite a few to get through, so... Uh... But um, this is obviously the cutting and shredding book. So moving forward, for the second one, we've got the sustain book. So now, think of it as this. You've now got to your desirable weight, and you'll sustain it. I like the fact that there's a burger on the front. Boom. Like, I'm already, Boom. I'm already interested. This is more... More fun stuff to eat. Still, keep in mind, very healthy, very very healthy, but uh, it's it's more reasonable with the carbs. So you can eat more fun stuff rather than stuff you'd eat on a on a deficit. So, so you don't feel like you're missing out on like the normal things that you might eat, or you yeah, still feel yeah, like it's um, yeah, like so satisfaction food. The easy way to think about it is this is more of a sh not not short term, but this is for you to obtain your goal to get to desirable weight. And this is sort of, when you get to that other way, wherever it is, then sustain it. And that is what this is all about. And again, just like before, the, the color coding um, with um, what to eat and how to, like, how to freeze it, or you can put it in the fridge and how long it keeps, it's all in here. And Joe Wicks has been kind enough to keep on putting in beautiful, beautiful pictures. As you can, oh, that's not it. There we go. Look at and those. you recommend, what, what would you choose from here then? What have you cooked? So for me, because I'm cutting at the moment, because I've put it all back on, <laughs> is like, I love the sloppy joes that I made. It's like a quick pizza you can make. Amazing. Um, that doesn't take long at all. I, I, I made it in the oven, as we all do, and it came out really, really nice. Granted, it didn't look how it did in the picture, but... Uh, it came, it tastes really nice. And um, don't worry if you don't eat beef or you don't eat any of the, uh, the ingredients in these meals because you can always substitute them out. So you can have, for, instead of beef, you can have chicken. Instead of pork, you can have chicken if you want. Or you can have like maybe meat yeah. alternatives. Yeah, or meat alternatives, of course, uh, for all the vegans out there. There is so much to do. And that is for the shape plan. And just overall, so, so I, I personally see this as a, a beginner's book rather than the cutting and sustaining, the red one. That is the best way to, dis, to sort of distinguish these. Red, blue for sustain. Sorry, <laughs> blue for cut, green for sustain. Um, and these are like, on, on, our, on our website, these are some of the best selling They're books, brilliant. They're um, seriously, seriously that brilliant. That we've got because everybody sort of like relates to him and how easy 
Yeah. Those are. And it's a good looking lad. We can just put it's, him it's in not, the kitchen as it's well. Not while too I'm hard. It's not too hard on the eyes looking at him. So even if you don't want to look at the book, just put it up like that and uh, <laughs> you can just enjoy it. But yeah, you can keep them in the kitchen as you're cooking and then follow the steps along. So um, so that's quite that's quite good, isn't it? Yeah. Josh? And just to sort of sum up on that, it's not just um, main meals, there are desserts on there, there's a couple okay. of drinks on there, there's some starters, so if you were to host a party, because we can now um, have people over, because our restrictions are now eased up finally, um, you soon. can now impress, soon shall I say, um, you can impress your, your friends and your family and whoever you like to have over with these brilliant meals and absolutely wow them with telling them how incredible it is and it took you literally no time and it doesn't look, it's not too harsh on their on their old belly so enjoy but yeah Justin what have you got with us today cool so I've got a couple of um so I'm a mum uh, my little one's three and uh as you probably heard me say a hundred times like we do love to read so I've got a classic the Julia Donaldson collection. I love this book bag. Like it's such a great gift to give. Um, I've given it for um, birthday presents. I've given it to my son as well. And um, it's just really, it's really good because I just like the bag, the bag as well because um, you know when when they go to school, it's all about having a reading bag and having your book in your bag. And she's just kind of like made it a really lovely sort of giftable item. Um, can't go wrong with Julie Donaldson. You've got 10 books in here. I probably won't go through them all, but um, everybody's absolute favourite, The Gruffalo. Um, just, every, I think everybody that reads these books knows that they're great for kids. Um, just lovely, stunning illustrations as well. Um, and always popular. Um, the way that they've been written are really sort of like, a really great great way to engage kids and you can have fun with different accents and stuff like that. Oh, for sure. I can remember watching that on, uh, when I was growing up, coming home from school. It was on um, CBBC and uh, me and my sister would watch it. I can remember it was really, really good. Like, yeah. It, just, it really does capture your attention. It's not necessarily um, gender specific either. It's not towards boys or girls. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's very much... It's everybody. Um, whoever wants to watch it, it's really, really great. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, and uh, just remember, obviously, the book always comes first. Um, but some, quite a lot of um, Julie Donaldson's books have become into kind of like these short films or adaptations, and they tend to always come on around like kind of Christmas time and uh, maybe in the summer as well. So um, I'll just show you actually quickly what we've got in there. So we've got the Gruffalo. Do you want me to hold the back? Yeah. Might be a little bit easier. Really yeah. So yeah, there. It is a really nice bag. <laughs> And then the Gruffalo's child as well. So just continuing on the story. Who knows if she'll if she'll do another? I think that would be inc incredible. Um, the paper dolls. So um, Tiki and Tacky and Jackie the Backy and Jim. There's plenty of rhyming and, and wow. fun stuff going on <laughs> in there. Yeah. So it's a really really playful playful books. Um, one of my favourites, um, Room on the Broom, the, um, the illustrations and the, the fun that happens in here, I mean, from a designer yeah, point let's, of view. Let's have a look at those. You'll love that. As I say, um, so I'm a designer, I'm not necessarily an illustrator, but I can seriously appreciate, I love my manga, and seems so I have a really big appreciation for illustration. Yeah. And that is really, for a children's book, that looks really cool. Yeah, I think... I really like that. I think what, when I started to read them with Devin, sometimes talking about dragons and monsters and stuff like that can be a little bit, you know, it, it's not, it's kind of new territory. So I think some of the way, the way that it's been um, illustrated is, is a bit softer yeah. and it's nice and um, we have a lot of fun with them. So we'll, um, he'll sort of sound out different things and there's plenty of rhyming in here as well to, to keep them, to keep, the, to keep their interest going. Now, so even though it's a kid's book, I'd happily read it. I'm, yeah. I'm giving voices to myself. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're brilliant. Um, another really fun one, The Smartest Giant in Town. So um, I think everybody will know this. And then for those who are big Junior Donaldson fans, you'll recognise um, certain characters and generally the animals across all of her books. So you might be reading this one on your, your spot, um, like the um, rabbit, for example, and she might appear in another book. So that's one another thing that I think children really, really like about these. Um, another one of my favourites, The Snail and the Whale, um, just so fun um, to read out loud, um, there's just so much, 
so much excitement and so much adventure that happens and they're just really easy stories that flow. So I'll quickly go through these. Uh, a slightly different cookbook, <laughs> but this is um, Charlie, Charlie Cook's favourite book. So he's making all sorts of recipes actually, but not like, um, wow. not like that. So, um, Can I have a look? yeah, go for it. So that's just a bit of fun. And then um, and there's a dinosaur one here. So we've got that Tyrannosaurus strip. Um, a squash and a squeeze there as well. And oh, and then um, Cave Baby. So a real mix of stories and um, different plots for, for the children to, to get stuck into. And like I said, they all come in that in that bag. Um, if you're, really yeah, they are really nice. So if your kids, well, not your kids, whoa, but if, whoa, whoa, if you've got whoa. kids that are Julia <laughs> Donaldson fans and you've only got one, I re we really recommend getting the whole set. So um, what book would you say, um, say for someone my age, um, who might have friends, um, who have now got kids? Yeah. Uh, what would be sort of the age group you draw? You sort of want to target these for? Because I've got a friend who's got a newborn baby, and I've got yeah. a friend who's got a little toddler. So. So what age? Yeah. So really, they're kind of anything from. I mean, like Devin's three, and we've been reading them since he was probably about two. Yeah. Because the younger that they are, the more, the more they get sort of interested in them you can really start them from from any age i think reading you can start from any age but if you want them to interact then probably from about two or three upwards um and then yeah they're, they're, they're generally aimed at the, the toddler age group but because they're such love stories they'll continue with them yeah they'll always come back and read them i'm sorry like, for this question always... everyone i'm hopeless when it comes to like kids yeah i'm completely new to this whole idea of buying like friends of mine um, yeah, it's a really like good baby, baby stuff. I um, have absolutely no clue. So um, for me, I need a, to know these things. But the, this, we're going to post all of the prices as well afterwards. But this is a huge saving if you were to buy them individually. So do you, oh, so you come all in one go? Yes, yeah, so you get the whole bag. So you get 10 books in there and you buy it all. So if you want, so instead of buying one now and then one when they're, you know, two, three years old or whatever, just get the whole bag because <laughs> then you'll have them. Yeah, I see. And build it there. It's a that really way. good like quality bag. Yeah. I, I thought like a little paper, not, not paper, but it's like string, yeah. these stringy totes. And they can use it again afterwards. Yeah, 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 for sure. And I think okay. for like mobility wise and sort of portability. Yeah. If you go out for a, I don't know, little park trip. Yeah, or even to the library. Yeah. You can use the bag. Get the kids to hold it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Get the kids to hold it. Like, Good luck. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can see how inexperienced I am with kids. <laughs> for me right. to get them to do it. We are, we only probably got about 10 minutes left, so we better whiz through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you guys are want us to stay on, but we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll probably whiz through. So we've got two more sets. So. Stay back over to a minute. Everyone. Lockdown quizzes. We were all sick and tired of them. I had about four or five. A week? In total. Oh, okay. That's three, not that bad. I think it's like four lockdowns, because Leicester went to the local lockdown as well, which is really fun. Um, I mean, sarcastic there, by the way, it wasn't. Um, and I went to loads and loads of quizzes. I went to those Zoom quizzes, FaceTime quizzes. It's, uh, so it's your crazy. knowledge then must be pretty... Yeah, yeah, oh no, it is all very trivial, but for, for us, for me, I thought I'd rather, I'm, I'm also trying to reduce my screen time on my phone, I spend a lot of time on my phone, which I shouldn't be doing, so to sort of keep myself stimulated and uh, also keep things interesting, I, was, I got myself my hands on this triple threat of pub quiz books. Now, for me, you're bringing the pub home. Obviously, now pubs are open and bars are open. If you if you want to host an event, uh, have some friends over, have you a birthday party, you could do a dinner party. You as could well. do that, and I'll tell you what, you'd have an app, you'd have a right laugh. It'd be brilliant because these questions are solid. <laughs> some of them are really easy, and some of them are just like, who came up with these questions? Right. So let's test you then. Oh God. So here we go. So they're jam packed on it. Five hundred quizzes, ten thousand questions. So guys, look how thick these three are. Three sets. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna pick any page. Oh my goodness. Oh, right. God. Um People are apologising in advance. I'm trying to how think silly I come across because 
These questions are crazy. You're not going to know what they are because <laughs> I Okay, won't. okay. Here's one I know the answer to, so you're going to answer this one. King Duncan is a character in which Shakespeare play? Oh, God. And I think of Duncan. Wasn't it that guy from Blue? <laughs> what was the King like? Duncan. <laughs> Come on. Um, so the question again okay, was, okay, okay. King no, no, you can, Duncan you can is a character in which Shakespeare play? Feel free to comment below. Yeah, please comment below so I can cheat. Um, <laughs> You've got some. I think it might be Macbeth. Thank you. <laughs> so you had a little help. What Beck did. Thank you. Thank you, what Beck did. You absolutely. So you've got all the answers in here. But... Okay, we'll do one more question, I won't look, I promise. You're right, okay. Um, good, let's pick another page. Oh, and also, they are ranked by easy, medium, and high. I think that was a medium one, so I should have said that. Medium? Um, okay, who wrote the novel Jurassic Park? That's an easy one, apparently. I, I know so Peter hard. Jackson directed it. Oh, oh god, I'm gonna get slated. You're gonna get I'm gonna get stuck. slated. Um, I, don't I know. think that's quite hard. I don't Not know. an easy one. I don't know. So it P- was, I'm gonna say Peter Jackson. Well, Peter Fonda oh, guys, and Dennis Hopper, so you're not that. Guys, I'm hard. taking a half point for that. So yeah, that's loads of fun. And yeah, so they split. Well you that's your book, so that's your choice. But, guys, I'm not the only one who's made a fool here. Because I'm going to ask Jasmine a question. Because you know what, from a different book, because those questions were horrible. I'm not a fan of them at all. So I'll give you one quick, you want it easy, or what they say is easy, and uh, we'll see you go from there. So, oh yeah, one thing to let you guys know about these books. So to prevent cheating, they have um, the questions on one page and all the answers on the previous page. When we were rehearsing this, and just going through it, we realised... Um, is that one? That's why, <laughs> how is that things for cheating? So if someone's looking over your shoulder for the quiz master, and they go, oh, um, oh, that's the answer. Nah, mate, wrong page. So, jokes on them. Okay, yeah. cool, let's have an easy one. I say easy, I'm still gonna go for the worst one I can find. <laughs> okay, this is easy. Warwick Davis played the title character in which 1988 film? Fantasy film. I, I, I Fantasy film. Correct. Can you repeat the question just in case anybody else knows it and they can help? So just for everyone at home who's watching, don't look at the <laughs> don't look at the com- Yo guys, don't no no one help on. No, I don't I don't see no cheating going on. Warwick Davis played the title character in which 1988 fantasy film? I've got no idea. Guys, don't help on. I see, I see comments already. I see comments already. You lot are crazy. I can't believe Willow. it. Willow. Right, who cheated? I, I still Everyone. Don't... Shame for shame. Right, that's it. Because of everyone's participation, um, that's it, I'm going on one now. I'm going hard, just because of you guys. Right. right. I see. Well done, you played yourself, guys. Oh, there's no hard. Oh, okay. Let's go for... <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to get this. Okay, what colour is a perisamon? Perisamon? A perisamon. What colour is a perisamon? Peri does mean something. Like, I feel like that stands. I do. Is it purple? Don't look at the phone, someone commented. Purple? Is that your final answer? Yeah. Is that where you're locking in? Yeah. It'd be helpful if I checked. For 20. What question was it? 17. Ha! Huh. Everyone in the answers, you've got one. I'm going to give you one. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to answer. Because I'm going to check. And I said it. purple. Lock in purple. I see a lot of blues in there. There's all sorts 17, of 17, 14, 20. Repeat the question. Is that what I'm asking the question? Okay. No, but this is different answers. One last time, guys. Keep in mind, this is like one question from 500 quizzes. So, what colour is a perisimon? I'm at a oh, bo- what colour is a perisimon? I don't- Correct. I might have butchered the, the, pronu- the pronunciation of this. So apologies in advance for that. But what colour is a perisimon? I've got no idea. 
I see a lot of blues, I see a lot of oh, oh I see an answer. You said everyone remember, Justin said blue, right? You said yeah, blue. Purple. purple, sorry, my bad, my bad. Purple. Jokes from Justin is orange. So uh, <laughs> So just keep God, they're with, tough. They're awful. Right, we've got one book set left. To let you guys know, that's a three, you can buy those as a collection and we'll be releasing a post. Um, with all the prices and from the books that we featured, and, and you could win one. Oh of them. yeah, and one lucky obviously viewer will obviously have a chance to win. Okay. Um, the choice of the books. So. So dun dun dun! Oh, I've got this Should lovely collection. Don't you see me? Yeah. Um, mine are all like quite theatrical. Right. This is a really really great book. So I think you were just saying before about um something for newborns and toddlers, okay. sort of like younger ages. This is perfect. So if you've got something that you need to buy a present for, um, so it comes in this lovely um, sort of board um, backing. Um, there's this. Um, there's six books. Yeah, so you might want to hold some up. Um, there's um, Maisie and the Fire Engine. There's Maisie's Train. Um, Maisie's Bus, and then Maisie's we've got Tractor. Maisie's Tractor. Maisie, uh, Maisie's Just Racing Car. Oh my Sorry. bad. So, we've got Maisie's tractor, Maisie's um, racing car, and we've got Maisie's plane. Yeah, so these are really cool. So whether you're doing staycay or vacay, I just wanted to get that in there, you might be able to read these books and just talk about some of the things that you're doing with your with your child, and they're all kind of um, got that transport element to them. They're really, really fun. They're so colourful. They're board books, so they are aimed at sort of much, much younger um, children, so sort of newborn to um, probably one to two. That doesn't mean to say that your toddler won't love them, even as they're older and they start to read, but they'll just love the characters. Um, they're short text in here, so it's just really fun. I'll just show you there. Um, there's loads of things you can talk about. Um, you know, with your child, you can ask them what different things are on the page. A absolutely tons. And this is just a, a classic. Maisie's. Um, books have been around forever. So even when I was growing up, I'm sure some of you guys um, grew up with these as well. So they kind of stand the test of time. They're really sturdy, they're just perfect for children that are six months old. Um, and if they do get a bit mucky, um, you can just clean them actually really easily. So they're not gonna damage or anything like that. So they're just lovely, lovely mm. stories. I was saying, these books are, they're really hard wearing. Um, they're literally like cardboard. So mm. you can take them like, around with yeah, you as well. So like, if you're, if, if your little one was to drop them, they might get a little, little pulled up at the edge, but they're not going to like rip or break. They're, yeah. they're absolutely solid. And like at that age, when they're like they're all kind of grabbing things and stuff, that if you had paper books, they you know they might rip them. Not saying that they will, not but all this. not not with these. Not so. with these at all. Um, but they're just they're really fun. So if they if they're going on the bus or if they if you are going on the train or if they spot a fire engine, it's all that kind of fun. Fun stuff in here. I think um, my big thing for these is how big they are. They're absolutely tiny. So just to give you guys a bit of scale. But that's so that they can try and start to hold them, and they're thicker. And um, yeah. I know you know this, but so that they can start to turn the pages themselves. Oh, that thing. Yeah. Oh. Because they're really like now. yeah. Because they're they're, they're they are small. I like not like some you can get really small, but tiny. But they'll be nice and thick and sturdy, so that they can learn to turn the pages by themselves. Really? So really fun. So Maisie's getting up to all sorts of mischief in these books. So um, those are my two book sets that I've chosen for today, aimed at kind of sort of more younger age groups, but really, really nice gifts as well. And the other thing with this is that, um, so I've got quite a few um, friends of Devon's that are, you know, they're at a similar age. I would even buy a set of this six and probably split them up. That's really clever. So if I'm um, like hits his birthday soon, and if it, he had a part like in his party bag, I'd probably put one in each, and that. Oh, that's really good. Yeah. That's, so actually, that's actually a really good <laughs> idea. That's actually really clever. Because they'd fit in a party bag. Yeah. And I know they're not going to get like messy, and I know that the mums will appreciate them. So it's just a really nice gift as well. Or you could give it as the box set. But if I know the kids well, I might choose like, oh, I'll give him the aeroplane one or I'll give her the fire engine one. Like I, I would probably do that. I mean, there's nothing stopping you from doing three books for Christmas and three books for the birthday. Yeah. That's what, <laughs> that's what yeah, I Yeah, you can split it up anyway <laughs> because they're not, um, you, you get it in a pack. 
like you get them in, in this sort of pack that nobody else is going to do that. So you can just split them up as as you like. They're yeah. all they're all independent. So um, so I think that's really nice. That that's what I would do with them. Um, and These are brilliant. I really I really like them. I think uh, for the size of them, for how sturdy they are, and uh, not to mention like the pictures are really nice. They're very easy mm -hmm. to understand. Um, obviously, they're really clear. yeah, they're not really pointed towards a. Uh, a, an older toddler, I think that's what you call them, like a, like a four or five year old, but for your early readers, this is bang on really. Somebody's just commented about that being a really good money saving idea, but they are really, um, we'll post all of the prices as well because they are really good um, yeah, I've value. I've generally thought that's such a, I've generally thought that, that's incredibly yeah. good idea. Well you could do that even with your quiz set or your Joe Wicks book set, if you could buy the box set and you could split them up, they could make great presents. Mm. And you don't need to give them at a certain time of year. No. I mean, Christmas is just around the corner, if you think about it. Um, a, I'm not, oh yeah, I guess you could do it for a Secret Santa. I'd stay away from the Joe Wicks um, box, because <laughs> you don't want to give the wrong, <laughs> wrong yeah, if impression. If you've got like, a, a cook or a food enthusiast, like, if you've got the Joe Wicks collection, you wouldn't be offended. No, but I, I can imagine the I'll wrong person. Not too the much. wrong person. You give the Joe Wicks yeah. the book, the Joe Wicks books to the wrong person. So the quiz books could be great They'll as get well. The wrong so. idea. You're not upset, Mark, but I think the the pub quiz stuff that you got hours of endless fun. Yeah. Um, of just going through that. It could be with your family. It could be with mates. Uh, it'd be absolutely brilliant. So that's pretty much it from the review side of things. Um, Comment below what was your favourite. We'd love to see what your favourite um, book was. And uh, yeah, please, please do let us know. Cause we're we're going to do this on a fortnightly basis. So we'll do this again. It'll keep always be on Thursdays, don't worry. And we'll always remind you, don't you worry. Um, come for the next one, which is... Uh, I can't remember. So it'll be the end of the month. So the end of the Thursday, month. The 29th, I think it is. Bit. So but we'll, we'll post about it. We'll follow up just after this event with a post with all of the... Um, books that we've shown today and then if you want to comment below on what you'd like to see on the next one and we're up for themes as well so if you yeah, want yeah. maybe next one we could do summer reading um eventually we'll probably do a back to school one um but we're we're really open so if there's anything that you want to see um then just let us know <laughs> junior donaldson theme yeah that would be really good we've kind of covered it a bit today um in fact why don't you do this because um when when this goes live we'll go as a post but why don't you comment below on the post we've just posted, if that makes sense, it's the blue one with the announcement of what it is. Comment below what your favourite book was that we covered today. Yeah, because one and person's then, gonna win one of these things. Yeah, and as we mentioned, one lucky viewer it will be have a have a chance to win one of these collections. So we'll pick it at random, don't worry, we're not here to be biased. Um, but make sure you comment below on our old post telling us one, what you liked about today's collection, what collection you'd like, and two what you want us to review next? Because again, like we said, we're going to do this every two weeks and we're going to make this a regular thing. do something to do with disability books. Yeah, that's yeah, a really good brilliant. idea. And um, sure. we have, we have um, got some books to, um, not necessarily disability, but um, for children with um, maybe autism or sort of reluctant readers. So we can do a session on that. Um, quite a lot of Julie Donaldson. Um, sorry, our phone, we, we, our camera is that it's way. Landscape. So we, we're it's trying to work on thing. Um, but yeah, please cool. do. Yeah, okay. Please do comment below on our promotion post that we posted uh, earlier today on um, what what you want us to cover in the next um, on the next thing. Yeah. And oh, also let so and let us know what you liked about today. Was yeah. it was it whose books do you prefer? Is it my books or Leslie's <laughs> books? And um, yeah, nah, come on, let, let, let's be realistic, guys. Think about longevity. <laughs> yeah, quiz books would be. It maybe family books could be a good one because that that's a really good good idea. So th there's a couple of themes here that we that we. What can themes do you want to cover? Well, there, there's loads that have just come up actually while you were talking. So there's preschool, there's um like mental health, maybe diversity as well, um and tackling emotions and things like that. I think that would be a really good one. That seems to cover quite a few. There's some on particular age groups as well, and mm. then more about like family and quiz ones. And as a last thing, I think it's really nice to sort of. Um, <laughs> to, um, oh thanks <laughs> um, yeah to sort of shout people out if you want a quick shout out before we end this I think it's really nice to acknowledge the, the absolutely wonderful people who are uh, who are following this yeah. so if I start, if I turn my head it's because the phone is literally landscape so if I look a bit silly more silly than usual then yeah. that's why so big up Amaze Books 
uh, Nirhan G, J, sorry. By the way, the comments are coming in really fast. Oh, so we're trying to keep up. And wow, we've got a big follower. We've got a big follower from us, which is uh, Burak. So, hi, Burak. <laughs> um, cool, we'll make a note of something. And hello please. to Trish plus underscore three. Um, Candy Girl Adventures. Brilliant. Thank you. Again, I think thank we're going to so call it up, but thank you yeah. so much for your support today. Um, and it's been absolutely wonderful talking to you all and we'll see you in two weeks time so thank you thank you we'll post on and don't forget more and pick a pick a winner to win one of those sets so thank you so much bye take care everyone thank you lot see take care have a good day